Hey guys, today we're going to do an unboxing and review of the new uh, HP Omen 17T CK000 and this is the 2021 version. So this version comes with Windows 11, it comes with the Intel Core i9-11900H and the turbos boost up to 4.9 GHz, has 8 cores, 16 threads. This is paired with the NVIDIA GeForce 3080 16GB. This comes with a Dynamic Boost 2.0 and the GPU maximum wattage goes up to 165 which is pretty insane. This comes with 16 gigabytes of DDR4 3200 MHz SD RAM and it's uh, made by Samsung which is very very good. Uh, this comes with a 17.3 diagonal QHD 2K display 1440p 165Hz refresh rate it has a 3ms response time. This is the IPS. It has anti glare, low blue light, and it's uh, 300 nits brightness. And this comes with my version came with the one terabyte PCIe NVMe, uh, the Samsung 980 Pro, which is very fast. It's a uh, fourth generation. This laptop comes with one fourth generation slot and one third generation spot, slot. The fourth generation slot basically it makes it run basically like twice the data transfer rate which is amazing so this has a 6 cell 83 watt uh, battery this has a full size RGB uh, keyboard this is not the mechanical one but this one is actually it's, it's really 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 good this comes with the HP Wide Vision 720p HD camera and it comes equipped with the Intel Wi-Fi 6 AX201 Wi-Fi card so, I was having problems with my old laptop, which is about three years old. It came with a 9750H, and it had a 2080 8GB NVIDIA graphic card. And basically, the problem I was having, it was just, it was reaching very high temperatures, which I ended up making a YouTube video, which ended up getting a lot of views. And I basically had to downclock the, the cores and fiddle with the turbo boost and everything like that to maintain around 80 degrees Celsius which in turn made me lose a lot of performance but um, I ended up going through the HP warranty and I ended up going talking to the escalation manager Vishal I want to give a shout out to him for helping me out and doing absolutely amazing and helping me to the best visibility he ended up getting me this brand new laptop basically absolutely free, which is awesome. So I want to thank you again, Vishal. You're the best. Um, so yeah, let's check it out, see what it looks like. This actually came from China, and believe it or not, it actually only took five days from the ship date to arrive here into the States in Pennsylvania. So over here, you have the laptop charger, it's 330 watts, to so make sure it's very big. Um, just to make sure that it can power the laptop, which is uh, totally understandable. There's really nothing you could do to make it smaller. It's just this laptop is basically a desktop grade performance. Um, over here, got the laptop. They have a new logo and design. It's absolutely beautiful. Love it. So when you open this up, um, actually, believe it or not, it has a magnetic has a magnetic uh, thing onto the sides to uh, clamp it down, and close, and you can open it with one hand, which is awesome. So touchpad, nothing fancy. It works very well. It doesn't actually have physical keys. It has left click, right click. Had no problems there. So to the left here, you're gonna have your macro keys. Um, I don't ever use these. I wish they gave an option to see if you can uh, get rid of them or make it optional, but maybe maybe the new series they'll they'll come through with that. And then on the keyboard, you have your you have your FN keys to control a whole bunch of settings. And over here, you have no num keypad, uh, which I don't mind because I don't use it anyways. And then you have the Omen button to open up the Omen Command Center Hub, which is very nice. And um, yeah, so. That's the power button right there. Let me turn it on. Boots up very, very, very quickly. And it's absolutely silent. You can't, 
can't even hear it. So I want to take a moment to uh, talk about the thermal compounds that I used and from my trial error. So the first one that I tried, because it had great reviews, was the Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut, I believe it's called. Um, so for desktops, I hear it's pretty good, um, but honestly, I think it's just meant for overclocking and not for long longevity. So um, once I applied that, I got what you call it is the pump out method. So I applied it, and it seemed like temperatures were pretty decent. But after a while, actually within a couple, which was within a couple minutes, actually, it ended up creeping back up to 987 degrees Celsius. And then when I took it apart, I noticed that all of the all of the thermal paste actually seeped through the sides and basically it looked like none of it was actually covered between the CPU and the GPU die and the um, the heat sink. So after that I ended up trying Ceramique 2. I think this is by yes it's by Arctic Silver. So the reason I bought that was because I heard that it was actually a lot more thicker, so it should actually work with laptops a lot better. So it seemed like it actually worked pretty well, but then after a couple of hours, the same exact thing happened. So then I tried Arctic Silver 5. Sorry, let me... Anyways, Arctic Silver 5 I tried. Um, same thing. It wasn't very great. Didn't work out very well. And then I came across the GLID GC Ex Extreme. This is, out of all these paste, this is the most thickest. And man, like this is the best thermal paste I've ever used. Um, so between the stocks, when I was running Cinebench R23, I was actually getting a lot lower scores than what was supposed to be stock scores with the 11900H, probably by about 15 to 2000 points um, the CPU would run easily at 97 degrees Celsius and basically at that point it's thermal throttling so um yeah so that's when I thought to uh, replace the thermal paste and when I replaced it with this um, I think the max I got was around 85 or 90 but that was like for a couple seconds um, but generally, through the whole entire test, I think it run ran around 4.4 gigahertz, and it roughly stayed around 80 degrees Celsius, and that was under 100% load. It's a really it's a really strong test, and um, actually in game, it runs in in any games that I tried so far, I'm roughly getting 60 to 70 degrees Celsius on all cores. It doesn't really get anything higher than that, which is absolutely insane considering the fact that this is a 4.9 gigahertz CPU. So this is like, this is literally a desktop grade CPU in a laptop, which is absolutely mind boggling. So yeah, uh, if you ever need to replace your thermal paste in the laptops, I would recommend this 100%. All right. All right, so this is what she looks like when she's completely opened up. So the first thing we're gonna look at over here is the SSD. This is gonna be the fourth generation and HP comes equipped with the Samsung 980 Pro, which is completely on another level. It's uh, basically double the data transfer rates. It's uh, very, very, very fast. And it also comes with a thermal pad on there too to uh, make sure that it doesn't heat up, which is a very nice touch. Uh, this will be the other SSD slot that you can install on yourself. And this is the battery. And this year's model is very nice. You don't actually have to physically remove the battery if you want to disconnect it. All you have to do is just disconnect that little cable right there. And then uh, it's always a good idea to, after you disconnect the cable, to hit the power on button to discharge any electrical currents to make sure that you don't fry your motherboard or anything like that. And over here is the RAM. It's very, very, very easy to install and swap out. So I swapped mine out with the Kingston Fury uh, 32 megahertz, 32 gigabytes. Um, so that the RAM that it actually comes with is a Samsung RAM, which is majority of any RAM is actually made by Samsung. So I actually tested both the speeds out 
from the RAM that I have and the RAM that they provided, and they are basically identical. The only reason I swapped it out was just to get more, to get more of a uh, storage, or not storage, but higher uh, RAM. So, so I already actually swapped out my thermal paste and they make it very, very easy. With the previous models, you actually had to remove a whole bunch of things in order to get to the CPU. Uh, this year, they actually made it very, very, very simple. So what you want to do, you get this screw right here, you get that screw right there, that screw comes out right there, this top right screw comes out, this bottom right, this bottom left screw comes out as well, and then these are actually spring loaded screws that don't come out, which is very, very, very nice, and this is what is going to give you the the suction between the heat pipe and the CPU and the GPU die. So you d all you do, so when you're taking it apart, you don't have to really go in order or anything, but when, it, when you make sure when you're putting it back together, you go back in order to make sure that it's evenly, to make sure that everything's evenly pressed. So you would just go one, two, three, or is it four, five, six, seven. And that's it. So once you get all the screws out, it pops out very, very easily. You uh, you make sure that you wipe the GPU and the CPU with uh, at least 91% alcohol. If you use anything less than that, such as 70, um, it could it could cause problems with uh, if it touches your motherboard with uh, frying it out. So you want to make sure you get 91% isopropyl alcohol to make sure that it dries out and it doesn't ruin your internal components but yeah it's very very simple I love the layout this year they made it really simple to uh, upgrade your components and get into your laptop all right so I'm gonna put her back together and turn it back on all right so the first thing that I did was run user benchmark uh, you just download a program and it'll benchmark your system and compare it to other similar hardware for the gaming I got 138 desktop 105 Workstation 141, and I'm getting UFO scores for each one of those. Uh, this PC is performing above expectations, the 85th percentile. This means out of 100 PCs, only 15 perform better. CPU score ended up getting 102 for the 11900H. The 3080 16GB graphic card ended up getting 134. The SSD ended up getting 507. Um, this is mainly because of the Samsung 980 Pro that it comes with, the fourth generation slot. This is my aftermarket RAM. Uh, I got 101. Um, I got basically roughly around the same score that the factory RAM came with, with the computer, so that's good. So I'm going to open up the Omen Command, or the Omen Gaming Hub, to change the name. Click on your laptop. Under System Vitals, uh, you'll have your, C or your GPU, CPU, and the RAM. You can check out your utilization rate and the temperature and a whole bunch of other information. This is the undervolting section. You can run a test to automatically determine your undervolt by benchmarking your system. Your computer will restart several times during this, so that's okay. I ended up actually getting 0 0.035. Uh, I kept increasing it until I got instability and rolled it back. Uh, you can test this in game. So what this will do is it'll lower your temperatures of your CPU as well as increase your clock speeds. I ended up getting roughly around two to 400 megahertz higher on average. Uh, your network booster, uh, this will configure your programs to allow how much of the internet that you want it to use. I have mine set to off. Under lighting, you have the Omen Light Studio. You just download it and you can open it up here and you can change the effects and the colors and the speeds of the RGB keyboard, which is nice. Under performance control, you have your power modes. I have balance and performance on mine. 
for balance. This will lower the clock speeds and it will lower your temperatures of your CPU. Uh, under performance, this will increase your clock speed. It'll Your CPU fans will ramp up a lot higher, but you'll get more FPS in this setting. So you have your max, auto, and manual uh, thermal controls. Under max, it'll run it at the ma maximum RPMs. Uh, auto would just determine automatically what it should be at. This is what I usually have it set to. But uh, under manual, you can control the, f uh, the fan RPMs, which is nice, and the uh, fan control as well, the fan curve. And over here you have your graphics switcher, uh, Advanced Optimus. So this will turn off your GPU if you're not using it and use the Intel integrated graphics card. This will uh, give you more battery life, and which is nice. And then over here you have your macros. That's on the left of your keyboard that you can adjust. All right. So I went ahead and tested my system before this. So... My max temperatures that I got was around 90 Celsius for uh, for two cores. And the rest, basically, it was roughly around 80 uh, Celsius throughout the whole test. Uh, it ran around 4.2 to 4.4 gigahertz. So for the multi-core speed, I ended up getting 13,037 points. The average is 12,345. So... I ended up getting around 700 higher than the average. For the single core, 1,540. I ended up getting 1,530. Uh, so this is that's still relative to the average. Um, this will change depending on your ambient temperature in your room. Right now, it's a little bit colder than usual, so that's why my scores are a little bit higher. All right, so this is going to be the end of this portion of the video. I'm going to benchmark uh, my games and give you guys the results. All right, thanks, guys.